Hi, church family. Here's some hope for Thursday. I want you to consider 1 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 12. Paul says, We have received not the spirit of the world, that's small case S, but the spirit, that's capital S, who is from God, that we might understand the things freely given us by God. So Paul is telling the Corinthian Christians, because of Jesus, we haven't received what is of the world. We've received what is of God. And because we've received from the Holy Spirit, that makes us spiritual. But what does the word spiritual mean? That's a very common word in our culture today. Paul says, he, he gives a very specific definition for the word spiritual. He ties it to the cross. He says a spiritual person, he Christianizes this term. A spiritual person is someone who knows about the selflessness, the sacrifice, the uh, grace and mercy and giving of the cross. And that person has received that in and through their lives so that then they can share that with the people uh, in their lives. So what they have received from the Lord, grace and mercy and love and kindness and new birth, now they're able to share this wonderful news of what God has done in Jesus on the cross for them. And Paul says, that's spiritual because it has to do with the Holy Spirit of God who now is in your heart and in your life. And now God is acting in and through you. And this can happen in the simplest, most mundane ways. It can happen simply uh, a note of encouragement. It can happen just through constant, consistent, loving presence in the lives of those where God has put you. Um, sometimes I think we feel like we would glorify God more by occupying a stage of popularity and that crowds would see us and then come to God. What God says in this verse is, through the power of the cross, there is one person that I want you to love today. I want you to be Jesus to today. I want you to encourage today. And as you do that, and as the Holy Spirit directs you, and as you cooperate, <laughs> that you are spiritual will be very evident for God's glory and their good. I wonder who that person is in your life today. Heavenly Father, Open our eyes so that we can see the people that you want us to love today. We who have the mind of Christ, God, help us activate this truth. In Jesus' name, and the church said, amen.